All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Baruch HaKodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is in the world, even though he calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Baruch HaKodash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And um, I was listening to a, uh, a lesson that the elder Yasha Wamba made. I forgot the exact um, lesson it was, but he made a particular statement. And um, it made me um, want to do this uh, lesson. Uh, the spirit made me think about this. Um, but uh, uh, elder Yasha Wamba basically made this statement on how... How you got, you know, Israelites, okay? They um, they pretty much always want to include the heathen into our covenant, all right? And um, it made me think about how if the Lord, let's say hypothetically speaking, right? The heathens were to somehow get into this covenant that, you know, that was only made for the Israelites, okay? All right? You know, our people, the, you know, the, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and also our seed line that's been pushed to the four corners of the earth, all right? You know, uh, um, you know, the Israelites, all right, this covenant that, you know, that the Heavenly Father made with our forefathers, all right, then prophecies wouldn't uh, be fulfilled. There would be particular prophecies that wouldn't um, occur then. And that would make the Most High a liar and... um and uh, uh and that and, and that's something that's uh not possible okay it is the scripture say that the lord is not man that he and he shall not lie okay all right you see so it's it, impossible for the heathens to receive that second covenant it's it, it's actually impossible because there will be particular scriptures that wouldn't be fulfilled all right and we're going to get into it. Let's uh, at first though. Let's start off with this Hebrews eight and seven. All right, and it says here, for if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Okay, and you see with with the first covenant. All right, everything was uh you know written on stone. All right, it was written on stone, and you know we um we broke uh basically we we broke the commandments. You know we broke that covenant. We weren't. Um, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. No, we, we, we continue to do wickedness. And that was due to the fact that we were in the flesh. All right? So what did the Lord do? He said that he was going to make a new covenant. All right? That second covenant, which is originally spoken about in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. I believe it's 31 and 31. All right? And within that second covenant, in which it's actually going to... Uh, 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 talk about now actually you know what? let me just keep reading because in that second covenant basically the laws are going to be put in our minds all right it's not going to actually be on stone we're not going to have to um you know look at a, a scripture you know we don't have to go into the scroll so to speak all right things are actually going to be first nature it's just going to be in us all right to be perfect okay now uh hebrews 8 and 8 for finding fault with them he saith behold the days come saith the lord yahweh when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, all right, that's the uh, northern and the southern kingdom, all right, which ultimately that uh, makes up the house of Israel, the you know the nation of Israel. It didn't say any other nations, okay? And I'm gonna keep reading, verse nine. Not according to the covenant that I have made with their fathers in that day, or in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. All right, which that's also, your, uh, 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 that's talking about your mind. And I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, the Lord, Yahweh, for all shall know me. From the least to the greatest, okay? So, we just read how the laws are going to be put in our minds, okay? And that we're not going to have to teach. Now, if the heathens were to get, all right, these law, statutes, and commandments, okay? Then look, the book of Isaiah, the second chapter, wouldn't be fulfilled. And I also believe that this is um, spoken about Micah as well. 
it's um it's just a little uh, worded a little different. All right, but it says here in Isaiah two and one the word that Isaiah the son of Amos son uh, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's a house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. Okay, and this is going into how our um, people are going to be that ruling uh, 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 class. Okay, we're going to be the uh, dominant people on the earth. Now it says here in verse 3, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mount of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall uh, go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. Okay? So right there, all right, it said that you you would have other, um, you would have the nations, they will come to us, all right, to learn the ways of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shad, to learn the ways of righteousness. Now, if that second covenant, all right, was given to the heathens, all right, spoken about in Jeremiah 31 and 31 and also the Hebrews the 8th chapter which we just read then this prophecy wouldn't be fulfilled okay let me get this real quick let me see if I can find it hmm, let me see hold on As the scriptures say that the Lord is not a liar. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. Oh. I think it's worded like this. Slakia. Some reason I can't find I can't remember how it's exactly worded okay but the scriptures do talk about how the Lord um that he's not a man and he shall not lie okay all right let the most high be true and every man a liar is uh the book of Romans says okay you see and the most high is not a liar he's the most high okay so he's not gonna break his word because that, really, if he broke his word, as the scriptures uh, say, I forgot how it's worded exactly. But pretty much, that would put a blot on his name. And, and look, the Lord, he, he's not going to have that happen. He's not going to have a, a blot on his name. Alright? You see? So, so that would, um... That, uh... That, that, that can't happen. So, the more, uh, so these... So that second covenant can't be with the heathens. It can only be with the nation of Israel. And then also this prophecy would have to be fulfilled too. All right. In the uh, in the book of Revelation, the second chapter. And these are just two uh, prophecies that um, that wouldn't be fulfilled. And I'm sure there's more. OK, but these are the ones that came to mind. All right. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Okay? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Okay? And why, if the heathens were perfect, okay, remember, um, those uh, 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 laws would be put into our minds. All right, meaning that, you know, we would, the, the meaning that if someone had the laws in their mind, they would perform it nonstop. They, they would just be perfect. They wouldn't uh, uh, sin anymore. All right. And as the scriptures say, the wages of sin are death. Okay. Now, if the heathens were to get that law and, or were to get that covenant, they would have the law in them. They would be perfect. Correct. Okay. That means we shouldn't be beating them because... They would. They wouldn't. Uh, um, they they wouldn't be punished because they would be doing everything perfect. So that Revelation two and twenty seven wouldn't be fulfilled. Then it wouldn't be fulfilled. It'd be null and void. All right. Okay. So that's why, 
uh, you know, uh, um, if the heathens were to get the covenant, prophecies wouldn't be fulfilled. Okay? You see, so it's impossible for a heathen to receive the, the covenants. It's impossible. All right? You know? And, um, you know, I'm just going to end it off with that. You know, this was just a quick lesson. And, you know, it's just, you know, something to think about, Akim. I'm sure... Uh, yeah, you brothers can find more precepts. This is, like I said, these are the two that just came to mind when I was listening to the Elder Yashawamba. Uh, the Spirit just made me think about those two particular scriptures, and and I know there's more. All right, okay. So just um, you know, hey, if you hey, brothers want to do a response, do a little skillful adding, you know, hey, that would be beautiful. Hey, so more edific uh, edification could come out, and also cut, you know, these uh, Christians out here, and uh, and these, you know, anybody that. You know, believes in that doctrine. You know, where everyone's gonna, you know, receive the covenant and everyone's gonna receive that mercy, so to speak. All right. But with that, you know, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Hope you were edified. And with that, Shalom.